Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you've been watching my videos for a year or two or three or four or five, you might recognise this jumper. This is my decorating the Christmas tree jumper. It is a tradition for me. This is just an old charity shop jumper. It's top man. But I always wear it, it's tradition. So I'm wearing this because yes, you guessed it, we're gonna be decorating this Christmas tree. I have partly decorated it, it's got a few decorations on it already, but I feel like there's a lot of gaps. And also recently I organized all of my Christmas decorations. You may have seen the new boxes that I got in Sostrena Grena and they're kind of like, have the little sections in them for organizing decorations. So I've actually pulled out some that have been wrapped up in tissue paper that I haven't looked at for a very long time. And some of these decorations are really special. They're ones that I actually picked up in Selfridges years ago in the sale back in the good old days when they used to slash all the prices down to one pound. You could get the most amazing ornaments in the sales in Selfridges and very random ones too. So it's kind of like some real novelty ones as well. Hello, pumpkin. You come to say hello to everybody. Ah, so you can help me decorate the tree. Will you be a good boy and do it nicely? Don't pull them all off it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have just a cozy afternoon up here in the loft. The rest of the place is chaos. So let's not think about that. We're just gonna enjoy decorating the Christmas tree. And I've also got a few bits from the charity shop to show you. There's some Christmassy bits in here, some really cool vintage finds that I'm obsessed with and I can't wait to get those out. What are you up to back there? <laughs> so while I'm decorating the tree, I think I'm gonna put a Christmas film on. At the moment, we are spoilt for choice on Sky Cinema with the Christmas films. As you may know, I've been working with Sky Cinema throughout the year as part of the Sky Cinema Club and every month I get to review one of their new films. And this month they did not disappoint with the brand new pumpkin is rummaging in the bag <laughs> of bits from the charity shop. I know you wanna see what I've bought, but you'll have to wait a little bit. <laughs> so Jeannie, I actually went to the screening of this at the Selfridges Cinema. Who knew that there was a cinema in Selfridges? It is fantastic. If ever you get the opportunity, you must go and watch a movie in there. So I'll just read you what it says about the film. So it says, This Christmas from Richard Curtis, the Oscar-nominated screenwriter of Love Actually, Four Weddings and a Funeral and Notting Hill comes a holiday fairy tale comedy about a genie played by Melissa McCarthy and a man and landing one chance to fix the mess you've made of your life. Imagine if we all had a little antique box in our homes that had a genie in it waiting to pop out. Well, that is what happens in this film. I was thinking about Christmas films and I was thinking how new Christmas films get released, but it obviously takes a while for a Christmas film to become a Christmas classic. And I was thinking about when was like the most recent films that are kind of Christmassy that have become Christmas classics, Christmas staples. I feel like Genie could be one of those. I really enjoyed it. I think Melissa McCarthy as the Genie is fantastic. It's set in New York, which I love, and it's a really nice story, really heartwarming, and yeah, I feel like it's gonna be one of those ones that's gonna grow on me, and I'll definitely watch it again. Also out on Sky Cinema this month, we have the Sky original May, December, and also Shazam! Fury of the Gods, and they've also got some pop-ups which I'm really excited about. So one of those is, of course, the Christmas collection and I will be having a little flick through that a little bit later on to choose something to watch whilst I'm decorating the Christmas tree. We have The Holiday, Love Actually, Bridget Jones's Diary, Krampus. There's also Gremlins, which I watched the other night. I really enjoyed that, and Polar Express. I love that film. And they've also got the best of 2023 pop-up, which includes some of my favorite films that I've watched on Sky Cinema throughout this year. Some of my favorites would include Maggie Moore's, I really enjoyed the new Scream, I loved Cocaine Bear. I also really enjoyed Downton Abbey, A New Era, and I've also spotted on there, there's the Railway Children Return, and I love the original Railway Children, and I haven't seen the Railway Children Return, so I'm gonna definitely add that to my watch list. It's got Jenny Agatha in it, hasn't it? Who played the eldest 
daughter, the eldest of the railway children. I think she's now like grown up in it. So lots to enjoy on Sky Cinema. I'll leave the trailers for the films that I've mentioned in the description box. You can have a little watch of those, see if you fancy them yourself. And I'll also leave more information about Sky Cinema down there too. And as always, a massive thank you to Sky Cinema for working with me on today's video. I absolutely love working with Sky Cinema. It's really a highlight of my month every single month. So a big thank you to them. And a big thank you to all of you who've given me so many incredible film recommendations throughout the year too. Right, let's show you the bits that I got from the charity shop next. Da 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 da! Did I tell you where this mug's from? This is a Starbucks Christmas mug that was a gift from Kate. It's so big in fact that I feel like even though I've got a large coffee in here it could accommodate a splash of Baileys so maybe <laughs> when we start decorating the tree that could be arranged. We'll have a quick sip and I'll show you what I've got in here. I had seen these candle arches in Gothenburg in so many of the windows and I thought they were so beautiful and festive. They create such a lovely glow that I thought I would keep my eyes peeled for them in the charity shops and I managed to pick one up. So this one was five pounds. As you can see from the packaging, this is very vintage Woolworths. It says Woolworths Christmas Collection. It's got a plug on it. So many of these nowadays just have batteries, don't they? It comes with these little kind of wreaths that you pop around each candle. I think it needs a little bit of a dust, so I need to give this a little bit of a clean. But I don't think this has ever been used. Like the plug is still in the cardboard. What's funny is that the price on this, it says sale, and the price is down to £2.49. So I feel like this is very, very old and vintage, but I had lifted the plug out and I gave it a little test and it works. So yeah, I'll set that up in a bit and show you how fab it looks. And I think this would look really lovely either on a mantelpiece or on um, a windowsill, you know, in the windows, these look so inviting. I love it when you look at Christmas homes or homes at Christmas from the outside and you just see a bit of a glow, either a Christmas tree or some twinkly lights. I think it's magical. Maybe it will look nice up on the bar cart and maybe pop it up there because I've got a plug just down here, although that's plugging in the Christmas tree. Oh, we have another plug over there. Oh, I'm talking about plugs now, that's really boring. <laughs> but it's something you've got to consider, isn't it, with your Christmas lights. And I spotted another one in a different charity shop and they charged me four pounds for this one. A slightly different shape. And this is, yeah, again, just wooden, really simple, and it's more of like a kind of, um, like a bridge shape almost, isn't it? Oh, it actually says Candle Bridge. There we go. I feel like these are really old, <laughs> but they do um, work. Again, I've taken the plug out of the box here and given this one a test, and they light up beautifully. So I'll plug those in with you and show you how they look. Yeah, there was loads of these in Gothenburg, and they just looked so lovely and kind of traditional and, yeah, I love them. So I'm really pleased that I managed to find a couple second hand and got them both for under a tenner. And then also, whilst I was browsing the charity shops, can you guess what I found? I can't believe this. This was meant for me. So I've just shown you my beautiful mug from Kate and look what I found to go with it. So this is another Christmas Starbucks mug. And this one is from Shanghai. Now Shanghai is a place that I went to when I was, I must have been like 19 or 20, and I had a tax rebate. I was in between a couple of different jobs and I had a tax rebate because I think I was being charged emergency tax or something. So I had some money and I was able to use that money to book a flight to Australia and I booked the cheapest flight and that flight was via Shanghai and I was able to do an overnight there. So although it was a really cheap flight, they did include an overnight in Shanghai. So I was able to go and explore and yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. So it's really nice that I've now got a Starbucks mug from one of my first kind of big trips abroad and it was only one pound. So really pleased with that. Does it say what year it's from? 2015, there we go. And then also in the same charity shop, I spotted this. And I've got one similar to this already. I've got a 2006 one of these. This is a 2012 one, and this is one of the Starbucks Christmas mugs as well. I've got all the Christmas mugs out down on the shelving in the kitchen, and they look so nice all lined up together. So yeah, I'll have to have a mauled wine party, I think, and make the most of them all. And that is everything that I've got from the charity shops. So what we'll do now is get the decorations out and I'll show you how I've organized them all. And then we'll be taking some of them and putting them on the tree. Okay, let's show you how I've organized 
these decorations. So yeah, these are the boxes that I picked up in Sostrena Grena and I absolutely love how you can change the dividers in those. I've had to take a few dividers out of this one, as you can see, because they had ones going across here. But these in here are my Kata Wolf Art decorations or ornaments. So these are German. And you may have seen me take you around the um, Kata Wolf Art shop in the Christmas market in Hamburg. And we have some beautiful cats in here. What I love about this box is that rather than them being kind of shut away in boxes and you have to take the individual lids off. You can actually just take the lid off these boxes and see what we have. We also have this cute little guy. I'll just whiz through these really quickly, but I love the cats. Now these are very fragile, so I will not be putting them on the Christmas tree this year. I might have to think about a way to display these that's kind of pumpkin and mitten proof because yeah, these are really precious and very fragile, but they're so beautiful. They're all really nicely made, and I love these two. They're fab, aren't they? So yeah, I've got those ones in here. We also have this tiny little toadstool as well. And then let's open up the next box and show you what's in here. So I've gone for different prints on each of the boxes, which I quite like. Now these are all from Selfridges, back when, they used to have the most incredible sales. And in here, we have a bit of a snowman theme going on, but some of them are snowmen that kind of made out of marshmallows and biscuits and things. They are so cute. And then we also have these little sugar cube friends. Um, so these ones, let me just take out a couple to show you. There's so much detail on these. This one says, share a cup of love. And we have this really cute little <laughs> sugar cube couple as you can see, and they've got a few friends in here actually. This one says, give me some sugar. <laughs> and yeah, there's a few of those. And then I've also got this whole collection of this style. So these are kind of like the little sweets, but snowmen. And I just think they're adorable. And these were all, they were expensive in Selfridges, but when they used to have their sales on, they used to just slash all the prices and just get rid of all their stock. I think now shops don't tend to get rid of stock. I think they just bring it out year after year, don't they? But that was back in the day where they would bring out these really detailed ornaments and then really reduce them. So again, I'm really happy that I've been able to pop these all into this box just so that I can actually see what we've got in there. I mean, look at the detail on this. I know these aren't to everybody's taste, but <laughs> I think they're incredible. It's not often you see decorations with this much detail like this guy he's sitting on like a cookie and he's all made up of like marshmallows and he's got little like strawberry laces for arms and a lollipop i mean yeah i just think these are fab but unfortunately they will not be going on the tree this year because again <laughs> very precious and yeah i just feel like we would be asking for trouble and then again all from selfridges and this is the really random box we have um like a cake we have a bear that was on a sledge but the um sledge has fallen off his bum i'm not sure what happened to the sledge we have this um girl that she's like done up in her blue and silver <laughs> we have a little bear we have a ballerina elephant and again all of these were in the Selfridges sale. I'm so glad I picked them up now. At the time I was a bit like, oh, they're so random. <laughs> but I just love them. Look at this guy. He's got a little golf caddy. He's got his camera around his neck and his little suitcase that says Snowbird and then a little martini on here. And his little glasses. I mean, look at the detail on that. He's even got a little blingy ring on his wing. <laughs> look at his shoelaces. So yeah, I feel like this bird is like a sun seeker. It's a bit like me. It's like this time of year, he's like, I am out of here. I'm gonna put on my Hawaiian shirt and go and get myself on a cruise ship or an all-inclusive and find the sun. <laughs> so yeah, I love him. And then we've got our little hungry caterpillar that says low carb delight. And he's got his scarf on. There's so much detail on these. I absolutely love them. And he's got his little cakes. He's a greedy caterpillar, isn't he? He's munched his way through an apple, but then he's got like cakes on the side. <laughs> so yeah, I have got the most random 
ornament collection and I absolutely love it and I'm really pleased that I'm able to store these ones away nicely. Oh let me just show you this one quickly as well. So this one is a little dog on a crown and in here you can pop, I guess you'd probably pop a ring in there wouldn't you? But also it's quite nice to pop a little memory or sometimes in the past we've written like things we want to do for the year ahead and then look back at it the next year and see if anything has been ticked off. Didn't do one last year as you can see. But yeah, nice little dog in a bowler hat. <laughs> so random. And then let's just show you one more. And this poodle is, are you a ballerina? I'm not sure. This poodle is holding a star wearing a festive hat and has a very cute little face. So these ones will be staying in their boxes. I think I'm gonna go and pick up a couple more of these while they're still in store because yeah, they're just so nice and they've got beautiful um, prints on them too. So yeah, that lot will be going away, but I just wanted to share those with you. So for all of my other decorations, what I've done over the years is bought some boxes in the sales as well, some Christmas gift boxes. These ones, I think these were from, yeah, these were from Selfridges too. These are vivid handmade and as you can see, these are really old as well. These were reduced down to one pound from 6.95. And then this one was eight pounds 50. Again, down to a pound, but really beautiful boxes. And then this one I think is an old paper chase one. Again, I probably picked that one up in the sale. And then what you can do with your decorations is keep them in these boxes. And then when you're decorating the tree, you can pop the boxes underneath the tree and it looks like presents. So it's kind of yeah, a really convenient way to decorate. I've organized my different baubles into these boxes. Now these ones I got in the Wilco sale and I thought these were gorgeous. And these are only suitable for bigger trees. So when I've had a big real tree in the past, these have looked amazing on it. They're kind of like that antique, like goldy color. And I feel like these, in the garden center would probably cost a packet and these were bargains in Wilco's. We also have, let's have a look in this one. I need to actually find some that are suitable size for our tree here. Okay, so some of these might work. These ones are Gisela Graham snowflakes and I think some of these might look really nice on this tree and they're not too heavy. They're quite big, but I feel like it could probably accommodate those. And so I'll keep those handy and also these ones. These are just plastic, but so pretty. And then, I'll keep that one open. Then what have we got in this box? It's like Christmas Day, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, I separated some colors of um, baubles. And then in here, we have the fabric ones. And we have a new addition. You may remember this little lady from the car boot sale this year. She was three pounds. And I feel like maybe she needs to go on top of the tree this year as she's a new addition for 2023. And I was at the Royal Opera House last night as part of the Christmas cocktail tour with Luke. And on the way in, we spotted a few decorations that were kind of similar to this. They had a few like opera singers and, or maybe she's from the Royal Ballet. But yeah, I was just wondering, maybe she came from the Royal Opera House or the Royal Ballet originally. I'm yet to find out where she came from. I found her online, but just being sold kind of secondhand. So, yeah, I still haven't found the store that she came from originally. And then we have some little felt cats or kittens, pumpkin and mittens, of course. I feel like they have to go on the tree this year. Oh, this one, this one was made by Chelsea Bowen. And I know that she's been doing some really lovely DIYs, Christmas DIYs this year as well. So definitely go and check her channel out if you're into your Christmas crafting. And how gorgeous is this fabric? That is, um, Liberty fabric and it's like this really nice stars pattern. So yeah, I love that. And then we've got some little crochet mittens and yeah, some random bits and bobs. So I think I'm gonna get decorating. I'm gonna find something festive to pop on and maybe find something festive to pop in here and we'll get this tree decorated. Right then, let's see what we can find. Movies make Christmas. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Sky Cinema. <laughs> the Polar Express, I'm so tempted to put this on. Oh, Love Actually. I feel like Love Actually is one that I need to kind of concentrate on a little bit more. I feel like I want more of a backgroundy one. A oh, White Christmas could be quite cute. Oh, and I've just spied a Christmas gift from Bob. So I read the book when I was on holiday this year, Street Cat named Bob. 
So I'll have to definitely add this to my watch list. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come, yeah let it come Okay, let's just pause the film and I think I'm done for now. I feel like this is probably enough, but I'm one of those people that just keeps adding and adding and adding. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking, but I've got all the boxes underneath the tree. So that if I do decide of an evening, you know when you sit on the sofa and you know, you're know you watching a film, watching the TV, and then you glance across at the Christmas tree and you think, mm, no, that needs a bit there or something. I've got them all to hand, so they're just all underneath the Christmas tree. So if I do see an area where I think, yeah, we could probably do with a few more in that particular spot, I'll be adding them over the next few evenings more than likely. And I will be continuing to decorate around the home. So what I'll probably do is a bit of a Christmas home tour at some point within one of my vlogs. But now I want to get these lights unboxed because I really want to get these plugged in. So I think for up here, what would look nice? I feel like this one might look quite nice actually over here um, on the side there. Should we try that? And then um, we'll go from there. I'll probably end up moving them around. So yeah, I will make sure I do a bit of a home tour for Christmas with you just so you can see where I've ended up putting all of my decorations. But yeah, I'm very excited to get this plugged in. Okay, I think it definitely needs a little white. I think this has been probably in someone's shed, garage or loft. It's a little bit cobwebby. <laughs> so let me just grab some wipes and I'll be right back. Chilling and having a good, good time Hey, there we go. That's brought that up really nicely. I feel like it's made it look like it's had a fresh coat of paint. Right, let's get this plugged in. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's got such a lovely glow to it. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. What do we think? I think that looks beautiful. I love the glow that it gives off and I feel like as it's gonna get dark later on, I feel that's gonna look lovely, just like glowing in the corner. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there because I do feel like these kind of belong in windows or maybe, maybe on the mantelpiece in front of the mirror downstairs. I'm not sure, but I do have the other one as well. So I'm gonna experiment and probably move them around about 500 times, then I'll show you <laughs> where everything ends up. But yeah, things are starting to feel a lot more festive around here. So I'm really looking forward 
to the next week or so as we head towards Christmas. I hope you're having a lovely time, whatever it is that you're up to this week. And stay tuned, because there will be lots more videos on the way. I feel like I need to really cram them in now on the run up to Christmas. So yes, I'll be bringing you lots more videos. So definitely stay tuned for those. Do give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed seeing my Christmas decorations collection and decorating the tree with me and pumpkins help, of course. Mittens has been snoozing all afternoon, so she's having a lovely time. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of the secondhand candle arches as well. And of course, do let me know what festive films you'll be watching over the Christmas period. Let me know out of the films I mentioned which ones will be going onto your watch list this year and thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!